What's up, everybody? This is a blessed nature, spiritual awakening, and today we will be discussing sun in the eighth house in the natal birth chart. But first, we're going to break down what the sun is all about. So the sun has to do with your self-identity, what you identify yourself to, and what others identify you to be. How people perceive you on the outside opposed to the inside, like if it was the moon. Also, the sun has to do with your ego and your conscious self. It has to do with your outside presentation. So now the eighth house. The eighth house has to do with secrets, crisis, situation, chaos, sex, the underground. Things that go on underneath the surface. Taboo, taboo topics. Things that people don't want to discuss or even go near. Death, rebirth, transformation, the occult and occult knowledge, joint finances, and other people's money. So we're going to jump into this today. Sun in the eighth house, men and women. These men and women have a hidden personality. They know how to deal under pressure and crisis situations. So these are going to be the type of men and women that when things get out of control, when things are chaotic in their world or even outside of their world, they know how to adapt and adjust. They know how to um, move in situations that are very chaotic. Where some people don't know how to do things like that. Some people don't know how to move. They don't know what actions to take. These men and women know how to do that. They can also be very giving and generous. They can reveal layers of their self to people over time. So they're not going to be the type of people that are open right off the rip. That's not these people. They're going to be more um, laid back observing the situation, observing their surrounding, okay? And this goes for even people that are very um, close to them. They're not going to reveal a lot to them off the rip. So what else can I say about this placement? These men and women hate secrets, lies, and deception with a passion. However, they are secretive and private their selves. So now they don't want to expose too much of their selves um, too early on in relationships, even friendships, on the job, even in the family dynamic. They're going to keep a part of them hidden and it's going to be a mystery to you. Um, just the way that they are is actually a mystery to them because they want to um, uncover who they are completely all the way down to the core. Yes, this is what these men and women are about. Another thing with this placement, um, careers that these men and women would do excellent in would be being a therapist, working in a hospital, doing astrology, working with the occult, psychology. These men and women are going to be drawn to the dark side of life. And this is going to happen even early on in life. They're going to uh, have things revealed to them in a way that is going to open up their mind to things that are hidden, things that are also secret, and lies and deception. So now very early on in life, these men and women did experience a lot of lies and deception and deceit. People not being honest, people not being truthful to them. And because of this, what ends up happening is that these men and women become very curious, very suspicious, very cautious, and alert. They are pretty much on point on these things. They know when somebody's not fully telling them the truth and somebody's not completely being honest to them to the full extent. So they're some bad motherfuckers. Another thing with this placement, you want solid foundations. You want your independence and don't want to have to depend on anyone else. However, these men and women can look towards their partners that can secure the bag 
Make sure that they're good. Make sure that they're okay. Make sure things is in place and things are intact. All right, so now, um, a lot of times with this placement, people are going to um, accommodate them. People are going to look out for them um, just out the blue, randomly. Um, people can definitely do these things. Um, but what it does um, signify in this chart as far as the sun being in the eighth house is that um, you shouldn't look towards others for financial matters, okay? You should look towards yourself. Even if these things are being presented to you, that's a nice thing, but you shouldn't be dependent on it, okay? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you should still be able to be self-sufficient moving forward. So now you can be obsessed and controlling when it comes to money. So these men and women are going to love to have money. They're going to love to um, be surrounded by beautiful things, luxury things, and they are going to be absolutely obsessed and controlling. So if somebody um, tried to steal from them, take from them, of course they're going to go off, going to pop off, have a lot of things to say, and it's going to be a chaotic storm for you. These men and women are highly interested and the occult and hidden knowledge and hidden um, information. These men and women love to dive deep and do their research. They love to do their homework, do their research on anything that's being hidden. Hidden knowledge, hidden information, the occult topics, all of these things is very intriguing to them. It's something about the human mind um, that really intrigues these men and women. So now, um, they can be great at uncovering secrets, and you can be surrounded by lies, deception, and betrayal throughout your whole entire life. These men and women will be alluring, mystical, sexual aura to them. Um, they are going to have an undeniable, magnetic, and charismatic um, look to them and nature to them. So they're going to hold and possess what's inside of them. Um, something that is very mysterious, something that is, um, wants people to know who you are. They want to know what you are all about. Okay. On top of that, uncovering secrets is something that these men and women know how to perfect. Okay. And they are excellent at that. So if you are the type of person that's dealing with a son in the eighth house, if you know them on a relationship level, friendship level, or business level, um, you need to understand that these men and women, um, they have a keen sense and a keen eye towards things of this nature, okay? They're going to always be on the lookout for these kind of things. They are more drawn to the darker side to life. Okay, and getting down to the depth of that, getting down to what people are not fully saying and what is true. They want to know how this world works, how it really works, not from what just somebody is telling them. They're going to look it up themselves. Now, these men and women can have a rocky relationship with their father. And it needs to be worked on and transformed in a better light. So whatever went on and took place in these men and women lives, as far as when it comes down to their father, it really needs to be mended, worked on so that they can um, transform the relationship into a better way so that they could be able to communicate healthier, better or whatever is going on. You want more out of life and can be extremely patient to obtain what it is that they want out of life. So, as you can see, these men and women are not impatient. They do have patience. And extreme patience these men and women will have to be able to obtain whatever it is that they want out of this life. Okay? You need a partner who is a go-getter that can be... Oh, oh sorry. You need a partner that is a go-getter that can be a providing source for you and bring it to the table. So these men and women need somebody that can provide. They need somebody that's going to be able to um, 
come to the table with something. So these are not the type of people that um, when you are dealing with them, that they're probably going to deal with somebody that can't bring absolutely nothing to the table. You do have people in the world that they do that, but these men and women are not interested in that. They want to know that you have something and I have something that we can build together. I have a car, you have a car. I have two houses, you have one. See, this is what they're um, looking for, some kind of um, solid foundation. These men and women want to be able to join their finances with their partners. And in a sense, they want to be financially secure when in a relationship. So they want to make sure that their partners are getting money, have money, okay? Because that's two different things. You could be um, having money, but then you probably don't have it anymore, okay? Things happen. No, they want you to be a go-getter so that even if you have it, if something jumped off and took place where you didn't have that big bulk of stash, you know how to get up and still rise to the occasion and know how to get it out the mud. Yeah, this is what they're looking for. All right. On top of that, um, these men and women will also do very well, once again, into psychology, counseling, even being a healer. They can heal somebody down to the core. They can um, pretty much understand so many different situations and crisis situations. And they can be an occultist. And they also could be an occult leader. Because these men and women um, research so much information and they obtain so much um, knowledge, they are able to be able to speak with other people on many different levels. And then people would be able to feel comfortable with speaking with them on these topics. These men and women have a lot going on underneath the surface. They are intense and in deep in nature. So there's a lot going on with them um, underneath the surface. This is exactly why their uh, personality is going to be hidden in some kind of way for other people to figure out and understand. On the outside hysteria, it's going to look like... Um, these men and women have everything um, pretty much together, everything going on, but it's going to be something going on underneath the surface that you do not know and that you will not know until they are um, fully able to feel comfortable enough to reveal that nature to you. But that's definitely going to be over a period of time. Once they feel um, a little bit more comfortable with you, then they'll be able to expose that extra part to you you know how to get into people's minds and can be extremely manipulative you can become a powerful person in this lifetime and can land yourself into leadership roles so now these men and women they know how to get into people's mind in a creative subtle kind of way they know how to pinpoint what people are um, thinking about what they are not fully saying as I said before but as far as the <clears throat> manipulating part okay they can um, do this very very well when they feel like it okay in order to get what they want in order to get a position um, a high status position in order to get um, their loved one's attention. So this can go many different kinds of ways. So you need to be careful if you're dealing with a son in the eighth house because they are creative on that level, on that level. So, but yes, these men and women can be um, a very powerful person. Even, even if it's a man or a woman, it doesn't even matter. You can be powerful and land yourself in leadership positions, leadership roles. Okay, you can um, lead the way for people, lead a way for people. You can be um, a manager at a corporation. You can be the overseer, the CEO. This is what these men and women can do. They have the power within inside of them to be able to do this. These men and women can have a business mind, but they also can have a criminal mind. All right. 
they are intrigued by the dark side of life. So a lot of times when you grew up being um, drawn to certain things, it usually stems because you are also being placed around these things in some shape or form, okay? It could have been in the home where you've seen things that were a little uh, unusual, but it could have also been outside of the home that you also seen things that were um, a little different than um, the norm, okay, going on. But they do have a business mind and a criminal mind, okay? And to me, it is pretty much the same. As I always say, the only difference is the criminal mind is more geared towards the vicious, violent, dangerous side of life, okay? But even when you're dealing with business, you can have risky, dangerous things that come along with that, depending on what kind of business that you are dealing with. So now, these men and women... Negative energy will come their way and they will be drawn towards um, these things as well. So these things are going to come their way. Negative energy, negative bullshit, just shit in your way, okay? Um, even these men and women can even have psychic attacks and entities um, coming towards them to ch even try to fucking attack them, okay? So what they do need to do is be um, alert, cautious, and aware, and use that wisdom that they have inside of them to really um, think positive. The more positive you think um, for these men and women, it's definitely going to um, dim that shit down, but it is still going to be drawn to them, all right? Now, your father... Once again, we're going back into your father. Your father could have been in and out of your life or in and out of the home. Or he could have died, passed away early on in life. Your father could have been very hard to reach. Or he could have been um, not emotionally available to you. So it could have been hard to reach him on an emotional level. He may have been involved into criminal activities as well. Your parents could have um, had a lot of arguments, a lot of confrontations. They could have been beefing. They could have even had fights. Your father could have been whooping your mother's ass. Your mother could have been whooping your father's ass. Or they could have just been struggling um, with bills, trying to maintain things, trying to make sure things was in place and intact for you. Whatever the case was, we already know that however the relationship went, as far as the father goes, that relationship does need to be repaired. It needs to be mended. It needs to be um, a better relationship. Now, if he is no longer in this world, on this earth, then we know that's not, um, the, it's not going to be possible for it to be mended if that was the case. Because that might not even have been the case that he was hard to reach or anything. Okay, but it does signify that um, there was a rocky relationship. Period. All right. These men and women know how to deal in crisis situations once again. Okay. So let's give some examples of crisis situations. Say, for example, some shit jumped off. Okay. It's a chaotic situation. Everybody doesn't know what to do in the situation. These men and women are going to um, not act erratic. They're not going to act emotional. Okay. They're going to use their intellect. Their full-blown fucking intellect, and they're going to move like they are playing chess. How to figure out the situation. So they are very well at problem-solving and solving situations. They are good at this. Some people are not good at doing that shit. Some people get emotional. Some people get um, clumsy. Okay, don't know what to do. <clears throat> don't know what to do. And don't know how to move. These men and women know how to do it. Okay, if all their money happened to um, get depleted, okay, that is a crisis situation. They're going to come up with an idea or a solution on how to make the money back or get some more money back in so they won't be broke. You see what I'm saying? So they know how to move in um, troublesome situations. Another thing with displacement is that... Um, these men and women can struggle 
with not feeling appreciated and loved. They can um, really have a strong fear around rejection and um, abandonment issues. Okay, not wanting to be alone, not wanting to um, be shunned or dismissed in any kind of way. All right, so now. Son in the 8th house, men and women, you need to know and understand that you are valuable, that you are worth it, and that you are somebody, okay? Even if early on in life, people did reject you, did even abandon you, um, you are your own unique person, and you can overcome these um, trials and tribulations, these situations. These men and women can overcome this and come out even stronger and wiser. So now... Having these feelings of not being loved, not feeling like you are deserving of love, not feeling like you are worthy of love, you can overcome it, find the strength inside yourself, and you can become even more wiser and stronger like you have never seen and like it has never been done before. This is what you men and women are capable of. So don't seek out validation from other people. You can have deep-rooted fears of abandonment and rejection. Something traumatic, <clears throat> something traumatic went on and took place in these men and women lives. And it definitely was lies, secrets, betrayal, deception, people trying to um, put things into your mind, people trying to control your mind. People trying to really literally get inside your head and manipulate you. And see, this is what happens. When you have been um, in those kind of situations early on in life, it now allows you to be able to be very manipulative yourself. Okay, it's almost like you adapted it or adopted it. Okay, so now you know how to do it very well. So because these things went on and took place in your life early on in life, we know that this is also going to be things that's going to take place throughout your life. And this builds up the wall. This builds up a block. These men and women are going to um, struggle with trust issues. And it's going to be hard for them to um, really break down those walls. The trust issues for these men and women are at its highest peak. Okay? So you do need to... Um, just do some self-reflecting. Make sure that whatever's going on in your world, you can um, definitely perfect it. These men and women, as I said before, they do have layers to them. But on top of the layers, they are interested in the occult, the astrology, all of the magic and the mystical things these men and women want to dive deep into. Okay? And they can even do very excellent things in those exact fields along with even health fields as well so this is all i'm going to say about this placement in future videos to come i will be going more into depth into this placement please be sure to check out my online store it is grimy gear at www.grimygear.com if you need a caterer be sure to hit me up i am the chef goddess also at supreme royale catering at gmail.com if you need my husband to do any work to your home, swimming pool, or business, you can hit him up at ironnesbin90 at gmail.com. If you need a tarot card reading, it's $30. If you need a birth chart reading, so you can fully understand and grasp, it is $50 for two hours. If you need a synastry chart, which is a compatibility chart, that will be $70 for two hours. So this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening, love is love, peace and blessings to you all and I will see you on the next one.